I really like the movie. It's from 1913. No, not 1913. There would be. <laughs> there would be a silent movie. So, cut. <laughs> Hey, I'm back to you with a top 5 Syria and in this episode I would like to talk to you about my top 5 favorite racing movies. I don't want to say like top 5 favorite Formula 1 movies because I thought okay the season is coming up and I thought okay let's get into this Formula 1 season mood so let's go through on the best 5 Formula 1 movies but I don't think that they're actually existing so if I'm not talking about documentaries but like real movies uh, actually in my opinion there's not really existing so it's difficult to select but definitely racing movies are existing so I selected my top five favorites to you starting on the fifth space in the 1966 movie which called very stylish way the grand prix when i just saw this movie first time i was just totally blown away i didn't know that uh, a formula one movie really exists for formula one nerds with these amazing cameras with these close-ups and even the sound is really nice so so every every detail is shown i love that they filmed with original locations with real life footages from the 1966 uh, season and also with real drivers like having cameos uh phil hill graham hill um even fanjo uh, is there well, this movie is not really about the story, uh, even it's following up the life of four Formula One drivers and real movie legends are inside like James Garner and Yves Montan and even Francois Hardy with this um, iconic scenes and she was really stunning. It's really not about the story, it's about in my opinion about the footage uh, the camera and how they showing with this close-up all these amazing cars and it's, it's just really really the the atmosphere is there the next movie is pretty well known i think if you are a car enthusiast then you definitely know le mans from 1971 well this movie is really in the history books because there was the first one was shooted on Le Mans. The funny connection between Grand Prix and Le Mans actually I just found out recently that Steve McQueen wanted to do a movie about Formula One but the producers of Grand Prix were faster so they came out a movie before so he still got a chance to do a movie about Le Mans. Next to Steve McQueen his famous rival in the movie with this beautiful Ferrari 512S was Joachim Rau. So I think if you're watching this movie you should really watch it because of the cars and how they was filmed and uh, you know a famous 970 K is in the movie with this iconic golf print on it and also this stunning Ferrari the creators were totally innovative with this cameras they they trying out how to put cameras on the car and how to film also this close-ups also the crashes were real so everything is really really real and that's why i also like it um i cannot recall really what is the storyline about <laughs> it's like it doesn't 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 really matter guys if you haven't seen it i definitely recommend to watch it and enjoy <laughs> let's jump now to the number three going up to chronologically we're jumping a huge step forward to the rush movie slowly 10 years because the movie uh, came out in 2013 and i think that was just uh, the last really great movie about formula one and this movie is really about the story it's, it's not like before it, it's really about the story uh the relationship between these two racing drivers james hunt and nikki lauda rivals one in ferrari and one in mclaren they also showing how in the 70s Formula One just totally crazy and James Hunt himself was really just a playboy living this very glamorous life with the fast cars, beautiful women drinking and partying and um, the totally different character 
uh, Laura's character who is much more focus and much more tuned down. Daniel Bru was in my opinion amazing forming Laura's character and, and really just going into his skin and also forming James Hunt, Chris Hemsworth was just really really good so both actors they were really good. I love that they also filmed a bit original cars so the close-ups they're all with original cars from the 17th the filming locations though they're not um original so fiorano or, or nurburgring they 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 were not filming there they were filming in england but you cannot feel this in the movie so everything is very authentic they really took care about the details i i remember the scene when they showing this close-up uh with the eyes of the racing drivers i don't know it was uh hans or Laura but they just put the camera on the helmet and they film the eyes and it's just really nicely done the next movie is the latest racing movie from 2019 and of course this is the Ford versus Ferrari the movie was very interesting for me because I really like the story how they showing how Carol Shelby and Ken Mize basically having and testing the 4GT MK prototype and how they race in it in Le Mans and I, I like this um, how the movie show the background of the industry and also like how they were showing the story for example um, how Ferrari was not sold to Ford but when Fiat got involved uh, getting Ferrari and then how they were uh, racing at Le Mans and how of course this rivalization was going on and also how to get test a uh, prototype or build a prototype race car and race in it in Le Mans. What I was a little bit missing but I know I know I know I'm a little bit um, picky in this um, that they were using all replica cars uh, in the movie. All the cars were replicas not real. I mean I'm not saying that they should have um, smash original vintage cars but even uh, in the scenes at uh, Carol Shelby's garage, uh, as far as I know, all the cars were just replicas, replicas. Um, so in this case, for me, the movie was a little bit fake. Nevertheless, they were filming in original locations as Le Mans and also in Willow Spring. So this is a good thing. With the cars, I think they were a little bit too much 3D, a little bit too much sunset all the time. But it's a nice movie. Also with great actors, uh, Carol Shelby is Matt Damon and Kent Miles is Christian Bale. So guys, if you haven't seen it, it's nice to see and nice to also learn about uh, this uh, whole process and history how to bring a prototype on the racetrack and the last movie for today this is a documentary and i thought i should have a documentary because uh, i think this movie is just one of even the only best documentary about formula one and this is called a life and a limit it's really just showing how the sport have evolved through these decades and how evolved and how it's become what is now and there was a long long process and also showing how different formula one was back in the 60s and 70s how dangerous it was how the race drivers were really risking their lives every single time when they sit in the car and also how this changed and what makes also this documentary very special that the real Formula 1 drivers recall their own memories and talking about their own experiences and everyone is really involved in the movie so Hamilton, Vettel, uh, Schumacher, Fittipaldi, Jackie X, Jackie Stewart, Mario Andretti, literally everybody. If you haven't seen this movie yet and you are a formula one freak this is definitely a must I, I would just love to see a real movie like we saw about 
Lauda and Hunt. Uh, I would love to see a movie maybe about Senna and, and Prost and also about Schumacher or um, I don't know, would be just also great to have these real movies. And oh yeah, and just go back to documentaries. I just learned today that the third season of Drive to Survive is coming up in Netflix. So I'm very, very looking forward to watch it. If you haven't seen the, the series, you really have to start it. I think it's great. And yeah, the Formula One season is just coming up, so I'm super, super excited to see what's gonna happen this year. What about you guys? Are we actually watching Formula One? I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm here the only one who's this huge fan. And I would also love to hear your opinion. Uh, what is your favorite Formula One movie or racing movie? Or maybe uh, something should be on my list in my top five, or I forgot something. So I definitely wanted to hear your opinion. So please just leave a comment below and let me know thank you for watching me and i hope you like this short video about my top five favorite uh, racing movies i'm going to come back very soon to you please subscribe for my channel and follow me on instagram on the girls loves cars and until we see each other please take care bye